What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate, and we're talking about Planner, and we're going to look at the action in Planner, which is Get a Task. So Get a Task is kind of exactly what it sounds like. You pass in some information about the task, and then it brings back um, all the information that it has on that task. So let's take a look at it. I'm in Power Automate here. I have a manual trigger flow and I can click on next new step. In the search bar, I can, I can type planner, choose planner here. And this one, uh, fourth one down is get a task. And then the other thing it's asking me for is a task ID. So if I flick over to planner, I have a couple of tasks already. Uh, a badly spelled one there um, and one here. Um, there's some information about it in some of these, there's like start times, end times, so I can put a start time in for one of these, put due date, etc. Uh, it has a description uh, in here, and I can go off and get information about this one. So if I go back to flow, I can, uh, my flow, I can pass in a task ID. So I can either, if I know the identifier or the, the, the ID of the task, the druid of the task, I can paste that in or I can choose from uh, a list of tasks that I have access to. So this is going to look at tasks that you have access to. Notice that it's not asking me for my environment or my group. So as long as I have access to a task, I can see it and, and do something with it in here. So if I choose uh, the badly spelled one in there, and let's go off and do some information. So we click on test. I'll perform the trigger action, save and test run the flow, click done, and see the flow run successfully. So let's have a look at what we get. So we get um, create by user ID, so we have a druid of the user, we have the title of the task, have the percent complete, have the start date, we have the created, created date and time, we have the due date and time, uh, we can see if it's got a description, it says true, we can see the ID of the task, we have the assignments, which I think are um, like who assigned the who assigned the task, uh, who is it assigned to, when it was assigned, etc. Uh, and if we click on show more, we also have plan ID, which is the plan this um, this task belongs to, and reference count. So we do get a cross section of information here. Um, it's a bit sparse I would have thought there'd be a bit more information if we go into um, back into my flow and type compose uh, we can take a look at the dynamic content that's output by this and some of this has a bit more information so um, the assignments that we kind of saw which was that JSON body um, there's several of those values in here so we have assignments assigned by user ID so the ID of the user who assigned it um, assignments assigned to user ID, so the ID of the user whom the task was assigned to, uh, the date and time the task was assigned, so you get kind of a lot of information, like an audit history of things, uh, which is kind of handy. Um, and there's some other things in here, so we can find the bucket ID that it belongs to, um, so you get information about the bucket, see who it's created by. Um, so we're actually in the in the dynamic content, we're actually getting a bit more information than we had in those fields that we looked at there. Uh, reference count, start date and time. So yeah, there's, there's a couple of bits of, of information here. And what this allows you to do is actually take these things, to so take these tasks and then do something with them. So for instance, you could go off and, uh, and if you had a flow which looks up uh, specific tasks to find out when they were assigned or who assigned them uh, or when or if they're completed or not, um, you know, the percentage completed, you could potentially pull out a, a report so um, of all those things. Um, so there's a few there's a few use cases for this. Um, <clears throat> I don't think these the, this is particularly useful unless I want to do something with this task. So I could get the task and then actually use that ID to then update something later on um, or, or do something else. But um, I'm struggling to see, um, you know, a lot of the use cases for this. So I would like to know what you guys use this for. So do you use JI task in a flow? I'd like to know so I can I can apply this to my day job as well. So if you so hopefully this video is useful to show you what get a task does. Um, I'm not sure how useful it is in terms of actually getting content out um, so you can use it, but at least it gives you some idea as to how it works. So I hope this video was useful. If you did enjoy this video, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.